All right, welcome back to the We'll Get Back to That Podcast. I'm King Riv. I'm Kyle. So today, we're going to discuss the whole Bill Cosby situation. Sad day in America, man. <laughs> it's sad, and then it's like, it's a lot to, it's not a simple case to just say, oh, he did it, let's lock him up. I think there's a lot of factors to it that's not being addressed. I don't think, I think what was going on here, it's not about fighting for rights for women or showing awareness to sexual I don't know. sexual crimes. Because if, if it was for that, a lot of people would be locked up right now. And, and I don't think we get confused with the two. Like, it's not about, oh, he did this to the dad, we're gonna lock him up. He was served, justice was served. It was not served. If it was, it was served, a lot of people would be locked up right now, but it's more to it. He got found guilty of being black and powerful. That's they how you feel. to strip that away from him. They wanted to take that away from him. Period. Because this world is built on hate, greed, and power. Like, it's, they don't care about nobody besides money and power. <laughs> and power. So if you really could sit there and say they locked him up, because of those crimes, you're bugging. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't feel that. Like I don't really. While Trump still out, you know what I'm saying? Right. Harvey Weinstein, if he does get locked up, it's only because it will look bad if he doesn't. You know what I'm saying? After what's going on. Yeah, the, it just went too far. That's why you don't hear about it no more. You don't hear about the Me Too, Me Too movement as much because it went too far. It wasn't meant to go this far. It was meant to take some certain people out. And that's it. That's my man Cosby. And it's just not. It's just, okay, what it is, it's like, for me to front, like, oh, you know, just another guy locked up. We all grew up on Cosby, the Cosby show. Let's be real. Don't just say it's just a show. No, it's more than a show. You want to say that, yo, it's just a book, right? A book can change your life. A show can change your life. And that sitcom, it affected everybody who watched it. Generations. It is, you know, we all, all of us, well, not all of us, a lot of us grew up on Cosby Show, and it made you feel good. Like, all oh, this a black family on TV, you got money. It's, it's a funny show, just, you know, it's a good, a good hearted show. And, and, you know, I know that's just acting. It's Cosby. I'm not going to excuse Cosby. I do think Cosby is a scumbag. Is a scumbag, yeah, right? Facts. But I also think a lot of situations, it was these women, those party. It, I, that's just my opinion. They just wasn't found guilty. I'm being a scumbag. That's it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if you think that that was the case, it's wrong. Because if you look at this case, the 2004 case, if you look at the, loop, uh, the, the loopholes that was going through, changing stories, changing DA, to, to changing um, the narrative of it, it's, it's just legally, if you really look at it legally, it, was, it wasn't right. It was, that's why I had a mistrial the first time. Yeah, it's a yeah, mistrial, case dismissed, move on. They was but fighting for it. They brought it back up. They're unsealing, they're unsealing documents that shouldn't be unsealed. It's like the law is for certain people, but for us people of color, no, we gotta change it up. Uh, it's more than just what's it's more than just the law when it comes to people of color. But also what happens with people of power, men of power, they don't know how to act, right? Cosby problem was women. And I'm not trying to um dismiss Rape. That's a, that's a big, that's a that's a disgusting crime. To be committed, and, and I don't condone it at all. But I don't think I think people are just forgetting in, in American history. Do you honestly think that people a lot of black men were not in jail, are not in jail right now over lies, over, over lies? There's a lot of lies going on right now. Every time you hear, oh, so and so was in jail for thirty years, or something he didn't do. Exactly. And, and it's hard for me to just. I know it's a lot. There's a lot of women that came out. But it's a lot of money in the world too. Money talks. That's a fact. It's just, it's, it's weird. I think it's way more than when we actually know with Bill Cosby. Of course. Either he got pissed, he pissed somebody off, or like they were saying, he was getting ready by NBC. And, and if people think, oh no, that, that's, the, that's just a rumor. It's not. It was it's true. It was true. Let's keep it, it true. The investment group was getting ready to purchase NBC. And stop it by doing this. It was out of nowhere. A comedian joked about it, right? A joke that led to this huge thing 
a joke from an unknown comedian. Hannah Brown. See, he wasn't, I'm not saying unknown, but he's oh, not, come on. he's not top tier at all. Like, come on. Like, from a guy who's like, who are you? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I can understand if it's coming from somebody who actually, you know, probably know Cosby. I just feel as though, like, all these allegations from the 70s, 80s, and if people, if, okay, if people knew, I'm not talking about the victims, but other people of power knew, why did you say anything? Why, why, didn't, you, why, didn't, why didn't you condone it? It was, it was okay now? What's the, difference? What's the difference between then and now? I'm not talking about the victim. I'm talking about the people of power. Oh, Cosby was disgusted, this and that. Meanwhile, he's probably doing the same shit with him. We all know the 70s was just wild out in the 70s. Hmm. People were partying different. I remember he was taking drugs. I remember he was having a good time. Yeah, I, feel, I do feel like some of the things like he's a guilty of, but not all. How many, it was like over like 50 women. Mm-hmm. It was like, that's outrageous. You hear stories when they say, yo, when the third time it happened, like. It's, it's hard for me to It's, it's touchy, it's, it's, it's a touchy situation. If you don't want to offend women, I don't want to offend nobody. But when it comes to this situation, I just, I you feel, you feel away. I mean, you gotta know how the media controls things. When you got women going on the cover of a magazine, sitting yeah. down, like, it's just like, is this about, is this about tearing down Cosby or is it about really helping women? Let's right. be serious. Because when I'm hearing other women going against Harvey Weinstein, it's like not the same thing. And it, it, all this stuff's recent. Yeah. This guy came, did his bill, put his post bill, and did. Bef- before he even got his bill, he's over in a different country to. Better we have, we, we have, we have for what so, rape? I can go. We have for rape. Like, stop. Like come on, like that's crazy. I just want people don't don't miss the two. Do not think this case of locking him up is about justice for this victim. It's not. It's more than it's about turning him down. When you see the, the Daily News post, jail of um, jail uh, jello. Yeah, now it's a joke, right? It's Y'all got him now. It's a joke. Y'all can make fun of it. Yeah, it's a joke. It's a serious matter. That's what you're joking about. Jello. Like, why would you like that's funny? That's funny to the victims. Funny to the victims. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think it's about the victim at all. We're not serious no more because y'all got him, man. Y'all gave him three to ten. Mission accomplished. Yeah. Congratulations. Mug shots, I know, are easily uh, you can find online, but they make sure that we see the book mugshot real quick. Try to tear him down, tear everything down. But I'm watching on TV, it still shows two and a half men with Charlie Sheen, who admitted to have to have a person. H- have HIV and pass it on, but it still shows a show and it's nothing. What's, I don't understand. Also, like, if y'all care so much about humans, all of this, right? What about all the priests that touch these little kids? Catholic Church, right? Well, they go to jail? Has a trial with them? If I'm saying, so are, we, are we caring about sexual deviant acts? Or is it just is it applied to certain people? It's applied to certain people. Law don't matter for certain people. Yeah, I mean, it matters for us. Yeah. And Cosby, clearly. The thing about Cosby, he separated himself from the black community, his people. He did it in a funny so way. He had right? no support. The thing about Cosby, he did a lot for the black community, but if he wasn't going away, like his way of you know, college and a certain kind of black person, like he shut himself from the hip hop community. Yeah, it's like, like everybody he talked really like me, looked like me, he, he shut him up. That, so that's my little issue with Cosby. But he did do a lot to black colleges, donating his personal money, millions of dollars, to colleges. So like I said, I think bro Cosby did more good than that. It's just a very funny situation. Not funny, it's a sticky situation, and it just don't sit right with me. But he's locked in, he's locked up. With the three to 10, you're gonna see from here. And then again, now, in 2000, 21. If that, if that, the behavior that's crazy to say. Meanwhile, we got a we got a Supreme Court judge nominee up on our charges. I have guarantees to get a job, so we'll see. Yeah, it's all you know, it's all that smoke, all that trial shit is smoke. The smoking mirrors. He's gonna be in the office. Oh, on. We're gonna move on from the old comics and move on to the new comics. The whole situation with Cat Williams and Kevin Hart. Pure hate. I feel like it's hate. You feel like Cat, Cat Williams is hating on Kevin Hart. Hundred percent. I definitely feel some animosity, a little jealousy. It's just okay. My biggest thing is stop 
dogging each other in public. Us black community, not us, but black community and stop dogging each other in public. Especially on these networks that's owned by, you know, the people that want us to go against each other. It's not a good look. It's never a good look. Even if you feel some type of way about Kevin Hart, you go tell him yourself. But it's not like... But it's getting too late. Like, like, it's not like Kevin put in, didn't put in the work. He can work hard. He works hard. Like, he's funny. So it's like, Cat Williams is like, I just see it's just nothing but pure hate and jealousy. Every time, and Mike Epps too, like, every time, every chance they get when they're on a platform, they gotta mention Kevin Hart's name. Like, instead of giving that man props and building his um, career. I know that the industry is designed for the comedians to go back and forth against each other. It's always one community at a time, it's, you know, all the shine. Everybody can eat. Everybody can eat, and it's just like, stop, man. They, stop it wasn't off. always like that. What? I remember in the 90s, everybody was popping. In the 90s, well, that's yeah, Rudy, 90s. Rudy jumping in. We got Rudy jumping in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in the middle? Yeah, man. Oh, I know. I remember Chris Tucker was popping, Chris Rock was popping. Eddie Murphy was still popping. Nah, it was just. But right just, now, it definitely is a Kevin Hart era. Yeah, it was more, more, more looks. It was more looks. But that, that's not Kevin Hart for it. That's the nah, other comedian. For sure, for sure. Because it's 2018. I so think it's a bigger platform. The doors are open. Definitely, I think work actors oh. has a lot to do with this. Do you feel the doors are really open? I don't know. I, don't I know feel something. like the doors open just like people not putting in their hard work. They use social media and get a few likes and laughs. They think, oh yeah, I should be big now. You're not doing the work. Mike Evans is on tour. He's, he's on tour. No, no, no. But like, he is, he is, he is. Cat Williams, what, his downfall was drugs. Right? He had, like, Cat Williams was big in it all at one point. He was funny. He was the man. Like, his standards was lit. Then he had an instant decline. Because ego and drugs. Definitely so drugs. you can't blame Kevin Hart for coming in and working and taking his spot. So you feel it's more so he's mad at himself. He should be mad at himself, but he's mad at the white man and he's mad at um, Kevin Hart. Like, come on, man. Where I was seeing Kevin Hart and everything, son. He was touring movies, shows. He even had his own show, right? On BET. Kevin Hart, yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah that's it all, right? My hustle, man. Work ethics has a lot to do with that. I, I, my biggest issue is just stop arguing for, in front of the, the oh. audience, in front of the world. It's, it makes it bad. It makes it bad. Like. Keep it within the barbershop talk. If you don't feel, you feel like he's not funny, keep it within. Your circle. Yeah, but your, if you don't think he, if you don't well, think he's funny, that's kind of hating, man. You know what I'm saying? Like he's already proven a funny. Like, no, nah, but the thing is, is like, why broadcast it to the world on other people's platform, bring it out on another man of color? I hear you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, my, that's that's one of our issues. Yeah, it, like whether it be true or not, keep it to yourself. Keep it keep it in the house. In house. Keep it in the house. Barbershop talk. shop talk. Keep it in the house. You don't have to go on NBC or CBS. Oh, Kevin Hart ain't shit. Come on, man. I'm sure a lot of comedians didn't like Eddie. Yeah. But you never heard him say anything. What well, well, did you not say Eddie? Okay, Kevin Hart does put people on to a certain degree, but not like Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy had people in his movies. A lot of people in his movies can't Like shine. Martin Lawrence, Boomerang. He wanted Martin for that part. Oh, what? Took Rock and John Boomerang. Witherspoon, you fought for him to put him in that movie. Yeah. Oh, where? Yeah. I ain't know that. The movie Life. Tons of comedians in there. Bernie Mac was in Pierre, it was a comedian all-star cast over there. So it was like, I don't know, man. It's just, it's, 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 it's a funny situation going on with Cat, Ab, Mike Ebbs, and Kevin Hart. But I do feel like it's just small-minded, the, um, the house nigga, the film nigga. Yeah, you gotta cut that out. Like, come on. We bigger than that. It's 2018. Everybody can eat. so much platforms you can go on. Mess with YouTube. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's so much platforms. We have so much resources. Every All these guys you mentioned got money. So you could create something. So, like, put in work and shut up. Yeah, yeah. yeah Harper, he had yeah, the LOL network. So he, he created that yeah, for like, I don't know. He needs to come on. All right, so let me ask you this. Out of those three guys. Who? What three? Mike Epps. Cat Williams, Kevin Hart. Who do you think is the funniest? Personal opinion? Yeah. Um, okay, I'll break it down for two things. Stand up, I'll pick one out of the three. 
And for movies, I pick one out of three. All right, so and two. You pick in, you have two categories. Yeah, but that's how I break it down. In a movie, I think my Epps is funny all three of them. In a movie, my Epps. I agree. On that stage, on stand up, I'm gonna go Cat Williams. And I'm not saying that Cat is on that. You yeah, I think Cat Williams have me done. Uh, no. and, I, and I'm, I'm not saying that Kev, Kev is not, um, Kev is not um, good or oh, great bro. on my apps. I think Kat Williams is a beast on the stage. All right. so you That's judge, my personal opinion. All right. You probably be what, you judging off like two stand-ups from No, Kat Williams got a couple. I know, but like... Huh. I see all the Kevins. I see all the Kats. And you still, you, feel, you strongly believe that? <laughs> That's my opinion. What about you? Okay, for Kim Hart for, for, for stand up on stage. Yes. What about Stand- movies? Movies? Is it tie? Nah, pick one. To me, I, I gotta pick one. Kim Hart. In movies? You think it's funny in movies than Mike Epps? How much movies you judging on Mike Epps from? Doesn't matter if you have three, four solid great movies. Okay. Okay. Alright, okay. so Kevin, I, I was weak. Movies. I was weak, Soul Food. I was weak, Jumanji. Soul yeah. Food. I mean, Soul, Soul Plane. Plane. <laughs> Excuse me. The Henny. I was on um, Soul Plane, Jumanji. No, I'm bugging. I just wanted to disagree. <laughs> Mike Epps. Like, Mike Epps, Mike Epps, every movie that he touched on, like, he killed. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize to Mike, me. Mike Epps. So I, I give you that. Mike so, Epps. Rudy, I, I don't know if you've been on comedy. If you had to pick on stage of the comics, who would you pick as, as your funny? Like, if you your your opinion is the funniest on stage. You better not say a boxer, boy. Nah. <laughs> nah. Boxer. You start doing boxing, Rudy's going to be the answer. Honestly, animal. like, the reason why I'm leaning towards Kevin Hart is because I've seen so much more of his content. I get it. And see, you know, and like, Kevin Hart. Cat Williams, Cat Williams has some funny things, but all of, uh, from what I remember from Cat Williams, that was like so long ago. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe five, well, six, seven don't, years. Don't put a timetable on it. Yeah, but at the end of the day, you got to, got to, you know, I like quality over quantity, but damn, Kevin Hart has a whole big ass book of content, you. son. I what, what I would say about Kevin Hart, he's opened the door for new viewers. People who wasn't into the stand too much, they, 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 they jumping into it more. It's like, he's very popular. Kevin Hart made a classic co- comedy movie. He don't have that. You don't have that. You don't have another professor or life. Who, who? Kevin Hart? You don't have, don't have no for certified that classic, classic yeah. that's going to last the test of time. He no, done. no, no. Something like Friday? Yeah, yeah he don't have Nah, that. nah, not I'm, that. I'm going to say yet. Not yet. He just do everything big. Like, oh shit, he's doing this, he's doing that. Like, he do everything big, but he don't have like a solid classic. In, in our opinion. But he's just, but he's. But let me ask you a question. What was the, like, the only, what was the last great comedy movie? Is um, Mad last like uh, like that one that stands out like the classic one that I can stand out. The last one was Hangover, but what's the after? What's after that though? Hmm. What's after Hangover? Yeah, because Han- Hangover is a classic. But what's after? I'm trying to think. Um, you got. It's been a while, Riff. It's been a while, boy. Because Friday to me will always be the funniest comedy movie I've ever seen. Always, it's not. It's up there. Up there, top three at least. Friday? Hell yeah. I bet. What's your favorite comedy movie? Oh, you, oh it's nice for me to answer. I like Friday. Give me something off top Friday of Friday was just... I name a, I name, I'm just name a few. Friday, Life Professor, Life, Money Talks. Money Talks was also another good one. Too. It's a good movie, bro. Rush um, Hour. Rush Hour. Rush Hour. One and two. Um, but they made three? There's three of them. The D one was alright. It was that's like something a, like it Chris was a Netflix, but she should have been like if Netflix was wrong, Rush Hour D should have been on Netflix. Chris Tucker and um Jackie Chan. No, no, no. Chris Tucker and sure. Charlie Murphy. Charlie Murphy? No, what's his the other one? Eddie. Eddie no, no, the other one. The one he went to Africa. Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. They went through the same like like why did why did um Chris Tucker stop making movies? I don't know. Chris Tucker started making movies because and he was big, son. He was at when he was making Rush Hour, he was getting paid more than anybody in Hollywood at that time. For comedians, for comedians, for comedians. Did like 
I think Rush Hour second, right? Rush Hour one popped The second one he got 20 And that's it That's wild boy yeah, 20 minutes like, back during the 90s He was constantly getting 20 each film Oh what? What's, what's, your comic, what's your favorite comic, comic movies of black actors? All right. Black Minions. Black Minions. Um, you got Nanny Professor. You got Coming to America is my favorite. Oh, I had to name that, yeah. Coming to America is probably one of my favorite. Anything Eddie Murphy. Early Eddie Murphy. Um, Early Eddie Murphy, Because it's like, anything, I could just stop and watch any Eddie Murphy movie. Any. Even if the movie's bad, yeah. they don't, yeah. it's not bad. He's, he's not, not bad. bad. The movie's bad, but he's not bad. Right, but like Pluto, the Pluto, Pluto Mars? Pluto, yeah, Pluto Nash? Like, was it? Pluto Nash had like, jokes, but it's like a stupid movie. But Eddie, like, Eddie Murphy was doing good. He did great. Like Eddie Murphy, to me, is the greatest com- comedian of all times. Hands down. Like, I feel like nobody's touching him. Nobody's on his level. And you, of course, you got the Cosby, you got the Richard Pryors, but Eddie Murphy is just better. Different level. He's a legend. Like, he could hit you with Daddy Daycare. Yeah. But then hit you with Boomerang. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo. Like, Eddie Murphy just... Eddie he Murphy, gets it. Eddie Murphy's a comedic god to me. Uh, to so me. What's your favorite stand-up? <laughs> oh, oh, no. I can't, I can't pick that one. I, got, right, I, I, I think it that. was Chris Rock, 99. What was it? Bigger, bigger and Blacker? I think so, son. That shit was wild. That That's was, a good one, too. He had that. That was wild. Joe okay. Kerr. Nigger versus niggas. <laughs> that was a big one. But my favorite one is um Eddie Murphy. That was Delirious. a good one. When he was wearing purple suit, that was, was a fly ass suit. Red suit. Oh. That was, yo, he had some Delirious. fly ass suits with the open shirt. <laughs> I remember that shit. And run tell that. I know you don't fuck with run tell that. No, I, to me it's and Martin Lawrence run tell that. Okay, okay. I'll say after after Eddie in movies. Oh, I give it to Martin Lawrence. In movies. He killed him, man. Yeah. Martin, Martin. Blue Street wasn't supposed to be funny like that. Blue Street was yeah, a yeah, New York yeah. movie, but he killed that. Is that. Uh, I see you. Come on, like, man. Like, like, Martin, Martin, like, he was, what you call a physical comedian? Yeah, physical comedy. He does physical comedy. I don't know. I would say he was slash oh. comedian slash actor. Like, he was legit. Yeah. Like, Bad Boy, boy he wasn't supposed. He had some funny parts in Bad Boy, but he was also a serious cop. Bad Boy yeah. One was his like. He you know they coming star. out with a third one, right? Yeah. Well, we we waiting on it. <laughs> oh, mean, it's, it's been I, like I've been here for years about three coming out. Oh, they got Will Smith just posted something, something about that. Like uh-huh. he's trying hard to get Bad Boy to. But um, Martin Lawrence is something special. Like I want to have a whole episode of Martin Lawrence because he's he's something special. So it's like you say after Eddie Murphy, you so, know, take in the movies, it's, it's my movies. Like you saying, you sticking to black or whatever? No, black comedians. But um, overall, let's see. Jim Carrey's up. Jim Carrey's no no joke. Jim Carrey's up there. Like Liar Liar, is a classic. <laughs> that's that's mad funny. It's a like classic Dumb, movie. Dumb is hilarious. Like Will Ferrell. I thought I think Will Ferrell was hilarious. I thought Jim Carrey was. You didn't like Jim Carrey? You don't like Jim Carrey? Oh, he said, you didn't like Mass? Smoking. <laughs> you fucking bugging, man. Yo, yo. Nah. I thought that was a cool thing, putting the mask on, but nah. That wasn't your thing? Dumb and Dumb You didn't find Dumb and Dumb funny? Party. Nah. That's hilarious, bro. I'm listening to Love and Color. You watch, show, you watch that show? And you no, he killed it on that show. Like, he was probably... I thought Will Ferrell was hilarious. Will Ferrell's funny, too. He fell off hard, bro. Hey. When the last time Will Ferrell... Now he still makes movies with. But when I watch him, he had a good one. Are we sticking to um, people of color? So, um, <laughs> you say you got Eddie, you got Martin. For movies. Your top three. For movies or are we talking about stand up? Movies. Eddie, Give me Martin, one more. one more. That's hard, right? Movies. Movie wise. I'm leaning towards Mike Epps, but nah, I'm we really missing the th- name. Th- think about, I don't miss the same. I'm thinking about like Chris Rock, Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker, it, three, it wasn't enough. Four good songs. I mean, that's four movies. So what's, what's the four? It's, it's Friday, Rush Hour, Rush Hour Will, Two, and does, Money Talks. Does, that's does, four movies. Does Will Smith consider? It? Nah, nah. He do he <laughs> does comedy movies, but he's not a comedian. Yeah. He never was comedian, right? No, no. no. He's a rapper. He can make roles. I wouldn't yeah. he's not comedian. 
Fresh Prince, he was hilarious. Hilarious, yeah, but, but he's a he's he. That's just that's a sitcom. Gotcha. Sitcom is always hilarious. But all right, that's four movies from Chris Tucker. So that's that's a good body of work. I'm trying, I don't want to overlook them. I'm, thinking, I'm thinking hard. Then he had a cameo. In the Chris Hulk Tucker part. had a big body of work. Yeah. Who? Chris Tucker. For sure. Well, not a lot. No, he, he, he don't have a lot. Compared to the, the comedians, he don't have a lot. Of but I don't know. Yeah, if you think about it, I don't know. I don't know that much movies either. If you think about it. But we, you, you coming off Eddie Murphy? You coming off Marlon? Yeah, I'm gonna give you an example. Okay, he never started a movie, but every time he was in it, Bernie Mac. I, I, okay, my, okay, I, 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 okay, my, my top three stand up. Oh, what about Cedric? So, Okay, he's good. He's one of my favorite comedians. But he don't have a Friday. He don't have no movies like that. Yeah, movies. Yeah, movies. But he's like, come on, you're not comparing. On that stage, and I'm paying for anything. All the money I got in the world, I'm paying for Eddie. I'm paying for Bernie Mac. And I'm paying for one more. Eddie Griffin. That's 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 my guy too. Um. Oh. No, 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 no. I need a third. I need a third for my stage. Uh, Early Tracy Morgan. That's my guy too. But it's like I love, I love, I love. Comedy. Oh, we're bugging. You said stand up. Stand up, my stand up. Dave man. Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Okay, so and yeah, Chris my, Rock. I'm picking three. You picking three? Okay, bet. You said you got Eddie, Bernie, and who else? I'm throwing Dave. I'm throwing Dave. Dave Chappelle. Can you get me in order? Who's number one? Who's number two? On that stage, okay. Damn. Oh, pressure on you, boy. In order, oof. from one being the best. Bernie. Two. Bernie. Over Dave. Then Dave. It's hard to okay. Think about no, no. Ed, Ed, Eddie only has two specials. But those two specials, nothing, nobody's touching them. I can't, I can't, I can't. Like, nobody's touching those two specials. It's, it's how I feel for the move. It's, Bernie Mac was underrated. Highly underrated. He's a beast. They should call the smartest comedian. I, I feel he's the smartest comic out there. Second smartest is Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Co- co- it's just sub dramas in comedy. You got, you got comedians like Bernie Mac. He's just raw with it. But you got people like they should call. Chris Rock can make you think about social, yeah, yeah, social think about it. He give you a lesson and he make you laugh. He laugh, laugh at tragedy. Like he, he give you a, a lesson of history through yes. jokes. So are you, okay, Rudy, are you into um, stand up comedy? Yeah. So if, if you're not into humor, you a scumbag. Right, so what's your, now what's your favorite? You have a favorite. Uh, I don't have to be a black comedian. Don't, I don't have to be a black comedian because you, mean, you have me. a favorite stand up artist. Yeah, Chris Rock. Chris Rock, Chris Rock. Yo, bro, why? why? He was just funny, son. I can see why. He was he was funny. He makes and you think. He makes you think. He says shit about like the thing about him versus black people, son. That shit had me rolling, <laughs> son. That's one of his frame, most famous um, yeah. um, jokes. Son, Chris Rock. I also Rock. feel like that's his, like why it's famous. Why is it famous? You know what I'm saying? Like we f- we find it funny. We understand it. But that's not why it's famous. Why is it famous? Why is it famous? Because the white people find it funny. The they funny. laughing at us. So oh, f- shit is true. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, but okay, okay. We laughed at it, okay, well, But in comedy, you got to be able to laugh at yourself. That's okay. You laugh at yourself. Let me know. ask you a question. Y'all think in 2018, you know, society got more sensitive. Yeah. You think those guys can still they be as... They want to last. They want to last. They, you think they could be as popping as now? Those no. jokes, but those jokes want to They get banned. They'll yeah. get banned. Yeah. We as society, we got soft. We got soft, boy. Everything. That's soft. what makes those lunches. Like, bro, I think Kevin Hart, and this is just me probably talking off the wine, but I think Kevin Hart might be the last great comedian. Not, yeah, so, and they might not be. Uh, there's always gonna be funny black people, funny white people, funny all this people, but we just too soft now, son. He might have a point. This. Stand up comedy another way it was, man. Like, but even you, Kevin Hart, you can't well, talk about race Hart now. To, like, you can't Dave talk Chappelle. about gay people no more. You can't talk about cripples no more. And so like, those okay, were some of the best jokes, color, Right? Damon Wayne has played a superhero, right? You be a crippled superhero. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, this happened in 2018. He will get in trouble. He will get banned. Yeah. He crucified. 
But it's like you gotta we, all, be, we all laughed at it. Yeah, you gotta be able to laugh at yourself. Life is hard, man. Just laugh. Yeah. Man, there's jokes. It's not personal. I'm telling y'all, man, we... Like, he had it. He played a superhero that was crippled. Like, handicap, handicap. Handicap. Like, what's his name? Handyman. Like, handyman. 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 Come on, that's not fun. That's genius. That's yeah. Handyman. Those were some of the, like, being crippled jokes were some of the best, the funniest <laughs> jokes, son. Yo, I remember Trace Morning got crucified over the, the mentally ill joke. Like, come on, man. Mentally what type of people shit is get that? super strong, like apes. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Like, but he got killed off that. Like, who yeah, yeah, he had to retract his payment and apologize. Like comedy, and, bro? And, 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 yeah, but comedy is a form of art. Comedy is a form of art. And I feel like if you can't express yourself, what, what are we doing here for? Like, that's why, that's, that's why I feel as though a lot of movies are not hitting the way it was. The way Friday was, it was just raw. They just had, yeah, you can't just get that type of movie now. You won't get that. You won't get an Eddie Murphy now. They got yeah. it filtered. That's what I'm saying. You won't get a like because once you like filter artist art, like it's not art. Yeah, it's True. like it's like like chemicals, like medical, like when you're doing this, all these things. Like we were just talk about marijuana. It's like everything's gonna be chemical. It's not gonna be pure. It's gonna be trash. It's comedy. Don't feel comedy. So it's just like comedy is not pure. That's why it's just like comedy is. Uh, well, well, I thought the dish for that too special was incredible. Yeah. But he's Dave Chappelle. Okay, he was edgy. He said some things. Yeah, but he, he, he said he doesn't care. But he was an edgy. Like I'm sure he could be more. I know he want to say more. Like Richard Pryor was edgy. Eddie Murphy with the gay cop sirens. Like, woo, 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 woo. like yeah, if he said that, that in 2018, ban him. They were protests outside his shows. Every yeah, man. Oh, come on, like. These are the legend jokes. These are the jokes that I would never forget. Is the edgy ones. Like nobody can remember like a Sinbad joke. <laughs> Sinbad man, funny. Sinbad, Sinbad's funny. He's funny. He's funny. He kept it clean. He ain't messing with like the Dave Chappelle's, the Chris Rock. Like comedy is supposed to meant to be pure and um, no like. And laugh at yourself. Yeah. So What's all right? I saw. Do you feel okay? I feel as though also our generation we're not going out to go see these shows as much as back in the eighties and nineties. Uh, let me ask you why though. You think it's, it's a lot going on? Money. I think, I think social media. People just go online and watch a few jokes in there. Yeah, because I I'm weak on social media. Like okay, that's my sitcom. <laughs> yeah, I'll go as a graphic. You don't have to go to a little club. It's a sitcom. It's a comedy club to watch a little jo- hear a little joke. Just Everything's on YouTube. You know, back like back then they used to do the same joke. Yeah. Over and over again, they but do again, that now. they do that now. But back then, you ain't you couldn't record it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there yeah. wasn't recording the device, so everything was on YouTube, YouTube, bro. Like you won't know these jokes unless you know somebody who went. Yeah, that's the only way you will know. Yeah, but now it. it's like yo, you could find these things. You'll find clips. That's why it makes comedy so much more harder now, because now you need a new show for every yeah, place yeah, you yeah. go. You can't, you can't say what you said Monday on Tuesday. Word. <laughs> but also, it's like, I feel like everybody's, everybody do everything now. There's a million one com- comedians. Yeah. I everybody's think, a comedian. I think, I think it was always like that. There was always competition, but the good ones always stood out. That's well, true. When, when I say that, I'm not saying I like competition. I just feel like everybody's doing everything now, because social media and YouTube. Like... I'm not a comedian, but I could be a y'all the fuck yeah, I'm gonna be a comedian. I'm I make a couple of thirty second videos on Instagram. I'm kissing I'm kissing myself a comedian. I feel like everybody doing is losing the art. Uh, oh, oh, that's oh, such a thing. That's rap, that's basketball, that's everything. Everybody feel like they could do anything. They feel like they don't understand comedy it's not easy. Well, I comedy like they've they been doing it over twenty years. Like this, um, like you really Griffin, have to. Like, for a long time. Can you sit down and these comedians? You have to sit down and write jokes that could expand for twenty minutes. Can you do that? Go on stage for twenty minutes. Stay on topic. You can't. It's hard. But that's why I feel like the stock went down in comedy. Well, times change, bro. Like I, uh, I think I do agree with him. I, I feel know, like I, I agree with him. But comedy is like. Because you know. everybody doing it is like, yo, where do you separate from good and bad? There's so much in front of your face that like, I think people lose, like, yo, okay, this is a good comedian. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I feel. Oh, boy. 
I, well, I know a lot of older comedians are complaining about the the, the, um, Instagram? the, the Instagrams and the, the the social media comedians business. Uh, what you feel about that? Because I feel like some are actually really comedians, some are just like they just do the Instagram shit. Um, comedians. Yeah, but what, 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 what do you define comedian? as a comedian then? Uh, oh, go to my stand up comments. Okay, it's easy to go on, to go on, not easy, but it's easier to go make a little clip, you edit it, and then you put it online and people laugh. Yeah, but to go on that stage, there's no edit button, there's no rewind. There's you no go on stage, stage for 10 things. minutes, it's not easy, or bro. even five minutes. But that's the thing. Like those guys on Instagram, and I find them hilarious. Yeah, they are hilarious. Are do you label them as comedians or entertainers? It's two different things. I, I think it's a new genre. Like Will Smith to me, I always ranked him as an entertainer. Who? Will Smith. He's an entertainer. Not as a comedian necessarily, but Will Smith made me laugh mad times. He's an entertainer. He's a funny person, but he's not a comedian. You no. Know, Haha Davis on IG. It's hilarious. And and Commodore. Yeah. They're it's hilarious. Hard. I find them as entertainers. But them, those two right now, they're actually going on stage and they'll say, they said it. Yeah, they do anything. Oh, that's where they, they perform yeah, on stage? Yeah, that's it's awesome. not easy. But I think it's just a different genre of, of comedy. That I'm going to call it digital comedy. Like, it's just digital. Like. Yeah, Russell Simmons tried to tap on a platform for those um type of people. Like I said earlier, um, Kevin Hart has a platform called Hello World Network. Network. So, you yeah. know. So, yeah, yeah that's a different um, genre, different lane. But, but I, um, you know, but I just feel as though people going out to comedy clubs is dead. Which comedy you prefer more? In New York is dead. I feel it's dead. There's it's a common. lot of them though. Yeah, but yeah, I know, I know. Who you good. who you paying for? You yeah, know? Like, yeah. And they want like forty dollars at the door. I say this. Two drinks, no, I say this. I think the stand up world is dying because of social media. I don't want it to die. I don't want it to die because that's the purest form of comedy. Yeah. But that's from so much platform people. Doing 30 second clips, 50 second clips, there's no need to do stand up. And that's where you determine your actual funny. What? So so when you do that, when you're not doing stand up, then you oh, yo, just throwing it in a movie, it bombs because yo, you're actually not that funny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think only a few of them can transition over. I think Mr. Commodore's one can transfer over. King, um, what's the name? King Bach. King Bach. Um, Ha Davis. Ha Ha Davis. I can see. I think I see Chris of course on also. Stand up. No. I like movies, movies, TV movie. show. That girl who was always dissing people. She, she don't she's know. She's not bro. funny. She's hilarious. To me, she's not funny. She just disses people. But she's a. She, she's on a TV show. She's on a little, little, little round. But, I mean, boy, that's something. That's big. You gotta bro. start somewhere. But okay, also feel like it's also easier for people now. Oh, oh absolutely. It's Everybody absolutely, knows yeah, that. Yeah. It's so easier. And I just feel sorry for like the, the real comedians. Like yeah, real they, funny. They, they get pushed to the side and they 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 be on it's the not fears. Fear. It's not fear, but you just think I you gotta adapt. <laughs> but now everybody can do that. Just okay, okay. Why well, should I adapt? Like why should I adapt if I'm just doing the purest form of comedy? Yeah, but Because it's like bro. don't change comedy. Don't change like listen, don't change it. There's no need to change comedy. Funny is funny though, Funny Funny's funny. But it's like you need a look. It all takes is an opportunity. And the real one's not getting that. That's true. And then it's always says politics involved. Like, how I don't do you know. I think what comedy is, as long as you make the people laugh, you nah, make them laugh. Okay, perfect example. Bernie Mac. It took him probably over 10 years to really get on on TV. Fuck it. He's a legend, though. No, he is. But I'm saying, like, funny. But it's not funny, you funny. For just to be like, you funny, funny. Right, Bernie Mac was funny, but it took him that long to get a TV show. Like Steve Harvey got a show before him. So much people came before him, and he's funny and then all of them. So it's more than just you got to be funny. Yeah, you got to be. Well, funny. these people that we laughing at, they ain't shit right now. Like right. Commodore, they just IG. That's it. They yeah, don't got their show. But IG, but IG is popular. So he's yeah, still I understand. Popular. But Bernie Mac had his own TV show, yeah, which was which my, was twenty five years. Of I was yeah, following yeah, Bernie yeah, Mac. Twenty five years. I love that show. That's 25 years of work, bro. That's what I'm saying. It took him extremely long. And he should, he been shy I got that look. That's what we were selling. He was killing it. But it's politics involved. You know? That's my energy. That's any form of entertainment. That's politics, bro. Because Bernie Mac, honestly, is one of the greatest to ever do. I'm, I, I, most comedians tell you Bernie Mac's guy. Yeah, Bernie Mac's a G. And he's he, he, he got to search hard 
for a lot of his material, man. Like, <laughs> not for real, but like, not just not just that King's Comedy tours, that other stuff. He's he's, um, he's a beast. And like, that's one of my my little things. I wish I could be a stand-up comedy. Like, I love, I think I love it, man. Like, and I study bringing this. I had a tomato waiting for you, bro. I know, <laughs> I know you're my brother, but yo, if you say some corny shit, tomato fly at your head. <laughs> yeah. But you know, I can't right. be on that stage, man. Right? That's not easy, yo. To go to go there and do a joke for even two minutes is probably for like twenty minutes. Yeah. And, and you talk about in front of like strangers and crowd like, thousands of people. Like Eddie Murphy had a whole arena like, like holding a stomach. I'm saying curse um Kevin Hart had a stadium of people laughing. Yeah, it's not easy. And then you like you have people like Cat Williams. Hating on that? Like, don't get to it. Okay, we're not listen. That's hate, bro. Yeah. Like, there's no other, like, I don't. Look, Chris Rock, I mean, Kevin Hart had the same opportunity that was given to Mike Epps. And, and, he, and, he, and, and, and he had a bigger opportunity because he was on next Friday. Everybody was waiting for next Friday. And Chris Rock right, put out him out in that platform. And then, what, like, and then they did All About the Benjamin. So, back to back, great movies. But what happened? Well, I feel as though you think he didn't, that's, I don't think Mike Epps crossed over. Right. So who fault is that? That's, but, but no, but that's that's not his fault. That's not who. who? It didn't make Mike Epps fault. He you say he didn't cross over. Yeah, but but he he shouldn't have to try to cross over. It just happens sometimes. He just doing he's just doing him. Now now if him. But did he? If you did he do the same work as Kevin Hart? We don't know. Yes, we do know, bro. <laughs> How you know? You seen stand ups in between those times? Because yeah, Kevin yeah, Hart yeah, never yeah. stopped doing stand up. Yeah, special, bro. But, not, but not, not I'm talking system. about at the height of next Friday, all about the Benjamins. Was he doing? Oh, I don't know. He could be. On, he kind of been on tour. My I'll take that. He did. A, he did a couple of. Big nah, movies. but during that time when he was hot, because when Kevin Hart was hot, he found a game plan to continue his buzz. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He have a good team around. Only, only, only really Kevin Hart was doing that. Yeah, I think Kevin Hart flourished don't, more. Don't you think? Yeah, he flourished more. But Mike Epps did his movies, son. He did serious movies too. Yeah. He was always labeled as that the funny guy in the movie, but nah, it's just they like, did. I just what was a good just, movie that everybody shitted on? It was Chris Tucker. It was the dude from Fast and the, No, it was not Chris Tucker. It was um, um Chris Brown. The dude from Fast and the Furious. Um, the, I know you told him I forgot the name of the movie. They was robbers. Yeah, I that was a good That's fucking not a movie. Comedian movie though. No, but he was the comedian. Mike like Evans' name? Yeah, he was. Oh, but um, like I was saying, man, I feel like there's a lot of hate and jealousy towards my man, it's Kevin Hart. It's like it's unwanted. It's unnecessary. I want to. It's now, when you do know top son, you always want to get. That's, yeah. That's yeah, all the thing. Top athlete, peers, top fighter, top, top comedian. It's not low class guys. Cat is up there. Mike Evans up there. So is that why? Yeah. I didn't see. I didn't see. Yeah, but Kevin Hart's like right there, Mike. Okay, I didn't see like Damon Wayans hating on Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Or Chris Rock hating on Dave Chappelle. Cause that like Chris Rock was that guy then when where they Chappelle all went show on tour together took over. So. Chris Rock then he he was on it. Yeah, but wasn't that like revolutionary for comedian? Like no, nobody was what Dave Chappelle was doing with kind of essential was it bigger and better. Like, than the uh, Dave Chappelle the show. Opinion wise, I think Dave Chappelle show was before his time. If it came out now, I think that crazy. I think that was revolutionary. Yeah, it was innovative. Innovative, bro. innovative. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, and if it also, if you think about it, they still ain't do another Dave Chappelle show like that. Well, he but, appeals but, no, to that. Look, to me, like it's a sketch comedy show. Yeah, yeah. And color hands down. Let me kind of open the door for for Dave Chappelle. Yeah. But it's like, and also like, and I'm color was better. Even though it's just just one person, it was Dave Chappelle. You know what I'm saying? True, true, true. Basically, we go on and on about comedy, but we're gonna end off right here. But you know, in the comments, guys, you gonna let us know what's your favorite comment, comments or. Yeah. All right. Let me know who's your favorite comedian. Why? 
who's your favorite stand-up comedian why and is Kevin Hart hated on the morning? Is it, it, like it, it, it on morning? Okay, okay. Let me know, because I feel like yo, Kevin Hart get too much on hate. Way too much. From top people who don't need to hate, because we all look at y'all like y'all top. Everybody can eat. Oh, I'm, I'm not looking at Kevin Hart like he's better than you. Like, I feel like every, all y'all are funny, so there's no need. Work together. I just want black people to stop down each other in public. Yeah, keep that shit indoors. Like you go on these networks killing each other and that's what they want. Oh, so stop that. that, man. So shout out to Mike Apps, shout out to Cat Williams, shout out to Kevin Hart, all comedians. Facts. Let's get it on. And R.P. Bernie Mac, the, king. the greatest. So I'm signing out. This is King Riff. I'm Kyle. See you next time. We'll get to that.